Hey guys, today we are at Atzenhofer Chevrolet. They provided this truck for review. I want to thank them for that. We've got a 2500 High Country Chevrolet Duramax Diesel Allison Transmission Truck. We're going to do a walk around, do a short drive, go over the window sticker and some of the features this truck offers. And let's get to it. Looking at this truck, it comes with Goodyear Wranglers. And we have a 275 6020. This is the new redesigned truck this year. This is the 2020 four wheel drive. Guys, this thing has the Allison. 10 speed transmission with the Duramax diesel engine. Alright, so one thing I wanted y'all to notice is this truck has a hood scoop on it. And this is just not a cosmetic thing. Get the hood latch open. So if you look at the bottom of this hood, that hood scoop is functional. It actually goes into the intake of the engine. And then it's got a collector over here for rainwater. It drains out. It's really nice to see a functional hood scoop on a truck. We'll take a second to go over this window sticker real quick. Go through the standard equipment. Skim through that. to the optional equipment. Duramax 6.6 .6 V8 diesel. HD surround vision. Trailer camera provisions. Rear camera mirror. Head up display. Bed view camera. This one has the safety package number two which has the forward collision alert. Lane departure warning. Low speed automatic braking. Telebeam auto high beam. Following distance indicator, safety alert seat, gooseneck, fifth wheel prep package, it's ready to pull trailers. Stamp bed holes with caps, seven pin trailer harness, Z71 off-road package. Hill descent control, skip plates, has a 342 rear axle. And has the 11,350 pound GBWR. 20 inch polished aluminum wheels. This truck to a sticker price is $75,835. And if you look at the top of the sticker, this truck does have the Allison 10 speed automatic. After looking at the window sticker, we'll take a quick look at the payload on the truck. Payload rating on this truck is 3,068 pounds. All right, so let's take a look at some of the features inside the truck. Uh, got your memory seat settings on the door. All your mirror settings. Looks like they're telescoping. Fold in, auto fold in. Got your high country logo. Nice sturdy step. All your power seat adjustments. Get in, you notice your parking brake button right there. All of your uh, four wheel drive, tow mode settings, all your light settings, fog lamps, cargo lamps, bright and dim. And if you look right there, that's your heads up display. So when we push that, it's kind of 
kind of hard to see, but you see it in the window. That shows your lane departure warning on the left. It shows how fast you're going, and then it also has a speed limit sign. According to GPS, when you pull out the road, it'll tell you it's looking at the windshield so you don't have to take your eye off. It's like down in your instrument cluster. These heads up displays are really nice. It's your instrument cluster. It's very programmable. Um, you can go in the settings and kind of adjust it what you want to see. This is your your um, adaptable cruise gap adjust. So you can set how many car lengths you want between you and the car next to you. Heated steering wheel, your cruise settings. On this side, these buttons are for the menus. Then you have a gear selector with the buttons right here. So you can select what gear you want to be the highest level if you want. Man, that 10 speed is nice. Um, you can go back down or just shift to the regular drive. So in your screen right here, it has Apple CarPlay, all of your settings. This truck does have the Bose sound system, which is really nice. Let's go back to the home, one of the settings. Then you can go over to vehicle, and this is where you can set all your collision detection, program all the your trailering. Looks like it even has some teen driver settings. That's pretty nice. You can program it to where it does certain things. You can set your valet mode. Okay, let's look at, let's go in here to, which one was I just looking at? Comfort and convenience. That's always my favorite. Uh, reverse tilt mirror, remote folding mirror. Just wanted to get a hood shot too to show how quiet these engines are. You know, all the manufacturers are working on quieting these diesels down. But when you when you close the hood on this thing, you can barely tell it's a diesel. Very quiet. Don't have to deal with that old clatter anymore. The thing nice of the exterior of this bed is we've got a step right here which is pretty solid nice step to step up into the bed you have your diesel and your death bill inside the filler door and this is new see this button right here you just push it out and it opens right up step right here in the bumper also to step up in the bed as you can see got the caps for the fifth wheel gooseneck prep it's got the LED lighting in the bed and it's got 110 plug it almost looks like in the bed right here they gave you more room um, you see you'd have more of a hollow space and it looks like they've opened this area up right here And if you look at the fender wells Man, I mean those things are Drop down pretty low too. So it looks like they, they did try to give you a little bit more bed space In this truck compared to the other models Let's Do the same thing here on the tailgate putting it up just push that button and goes back into place. Man, that's a nice feature. All right, so let's get in the back seat. I'm gonna look at these features. This is kind of nice in the center of the back seat. It's got a cargo hatch, put some stuff in. Another one on that side. It's your fold down console with cup holders. Let's climb up in here and look at the leg room. I mean, I've got that seat probably almost all the way back. And wow, I've got a really good amount of leg room in this truck. And they've got USB in, USB-Cs. 
You've got your heated seats for both sides and your 12 volt output. Two air vents. collision detection system so your lane change alert park assist you can set all these things or turn them off if you don't like them lighting how long you want the lights to stay on when you enter and exit the vehicle or walk up to it or hit the button on the remote so all those settings are controlled here with the screen if you go down here it's just your climate settings. This is your heated and cooled seats, but this one actually gives you the option to heat both the bottom and the top, or you can just heat the top section, and then you have your cool there also. Passenger sides over here. Then you have the exhaust brake here. It's on or off. This is your lane departure warning. If you don't like that, you can turn that off or have it on. Your tailgate open button hazards this is your traction control stability you can turn that off or on you'll see these things toggle in the screen when you turn them on and off also this is for your power inverter which i'm betting is for the plug in the bed um, if you want to activate that you turn that on and then you also have hill descent control here this part of the z71 off-road package your trailer brake controller right here slides in you can see the output on the dash and then you have your settings of how you what your game needs to be you have USB C standard USB and the 12 volt and then we also have the 110 outlet which I'm sure this controls that also the other nice feature is we've got a nice little cradle here with the wireless charging for your phone so you can just set your phone down there and it charges automatically we've got a dual compartment glove box over here a smaller one on top and one on the bottom and then I think that's from your class 5 to class 4 receiver hitch adapter again you have USB-C USB standard and auxiliary in there Got a nice deep console really nice leather soft seats Nice headrest. And this truck does have a lot of headroom. Um, it's got an indention up here, actually gives you a little more headroom on the top. And it's also equipped with the home link system. If you look under there, your door, your buttons for your garage door. And then it comes with one star. So you see your SOS and contact one star buttons. And that's for your power rear slider. So let's take this thing out and see how it drives. Steering's very light, feels very nice to turn, requires very little input, very little muscle to turn it. That 10 speed just shifts very nicely. I mean, it's going through the gears. You don't even feel it. It's very quiet in the cab. 
I'm not hearing any road noise at all. That engine, you barely hear it. I'm sure y'all can hear it a little bit in the video, but it's, it's pretty quiet in here. Got a railroad track here. Handled that very nicely. about half throttle right there. You can actually feel that 10 speed. It's they've got the programming. It's really nice when you when you're braking, it's you can't really feel the shifts. It's just a light touch. And um, but you can tell it's assisting and slowing you down. They're utilizing that 10 speed to, to help you do that. to take a look at the camera views that's offered also so you have the top view well, I'm fixing the back into a spot here at the dealership um, that's a really nice top view you can zoom in on the top that's from the front from the back and you can zoom in on either one wow That'll actually give you a front view that's a rendering. That's really cool. Side views of the truck. That's a hitch view for up the trailer. And then a bed view also. So lots of options with these cameras. Let's look at these tow mirrors real quick. We have the fold in option. We have the fold out option. You can also telescope them out, which is really nice. Just wanted to say thanks to Atsnoffer Chevrolet for providing this truck for review today. This is a very nice high country three quarter ton truck. It has an impressive payload on it. I'm gonna put a link to their website down in the bottom in the description. And I will also put the stock number of this vehicle. If you wanna see it or talk to them, feel free to contact them. Uh, hit the like and subscribe if you don't mind. And if you come in to buy or look at a, one of these vehicles, just tell them you saw it on Rocky's review and they'll make you a deal.